scripture, we see um, in this, in, 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 he, he asked the question, but then he goes along and he, he answers the question for us. Verse number four says, He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath no, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. So here we see this, the, the answer to this. So we have this great God. He's created everything and created all of us that are in, in this earth. And then the question goes on to say, who does God receive? Well, when you look at this portion of scripture, we see that there's some certain things that God does receive. Now, what David then is talking from a standpoint of already being in a relationship with God. We do know that, that David sinned when he committed the sin with Bathsheba and then had her husband set out the battle and he died. So we know that he sinned. We know that he confessed his sin when the prophet came to him and confronted him with his sin. And so we see that David now is talking about this great God, this holy God that he's in a relationship with. So who can come into the presence of God? Who can have that relationship with God? Well, let's go backwards a little bit. 